Hello friends, welcome back to Learn with Lakshman Dharmaraj. Today we are going to talk about open access publishing. In open access publishing, we are going to cover four points. The first one is open access publication initiatives. The second is Sherpa Romeo, that is online resource to check publisher copyright and self-archiving policies. Third is software tools to identify predatory publications. One such is developed by SPPU. And fourth one is journal finder, journal suggestion tools like Jane, Elsevier journal finder and Springer journal suggester, etc. Let us first of all try to understand what is open access publishing. There are a few definitions of open access publishing. The first such definition is made by Cornell University Library. The definition made by Cornell University Library of open access publishing is Open access is freely available online content. According to Cornell University Library, open access is freely available online content. It is unrestricted, unlimited online access for academic articles. All sorts of academic articles. It is open. Open means open to all. You can freely have an access to it. According to Berlin Declaration, Open access is a free, unalterable, global, accessible publication. What is it? Open access is a free, unalterable, global, accessible publication. See, there are some benefits of open access publishing. Open access publishing eliminates the price and approval restrictions and assures the best possible access to the readers. It eliminates the price element. In most of the cases, there are prices, high prices, and you need to have approval of the authors in case, in case of other articles. But in case of open access, these problems are not there. Therefore, it is said that it eliminates the price and approval restrictions and assures the best possible access to the readers. There are a few critical components of open access publication. These are online delivery, Further dissemination and effective archiving are the critical components of open access publishing. The threat of being led into deception is always there with all kinds of journals, be it a print journal or an open access journal. So it's very important for the researcher to know about the predatory publications or predatory journals. How would you understand which of the journals are predatory? That is, how to find predatory publications. Okay, let us try to ask some of the questions to the journals and try to have the answers of those questions. If you try to find out answers of those questions, you will easily know whether this journal is predatory or not. Okay, so the first thing, the first question you ask is, do they charge fee for publishing? If a journal charges fee for the publication, it is a predatory journal. It is not a genuine journal because it is a kind of business. Okay, so this is one thing you got to remember. However, for the purpose of archiving, they may charge the fees. This has to be kept in the mind. If a publisher is not charging for the publication, but for the archival, the fees can be charged. Okay, the second thing that you've got to understand is, are they not peer reviewed? Because it is supposed that all the journals should be peer reviewed. If they are not peer reviewed journals, they are predatory journals. So they are fake journals. They lead you into something that is unwanted or an unethical practice. The third question that you have to ask is, do they restrict academic freedom? I mean, is the academic freedom given by those journals to the writers? That is another point that may help you in understanding the journal, whether it is predatory or not. The next question that you can ask is, do they ensure that the copyright of the author are maintained? If copyright is maintained, the journal is not predatory. If it is not maintained, it is predatory. And the last point or the last question that you need to ask yourself is, are they typically of low quality? If these G journals are of low quality, then remember, they are the predatory journals. 
now let's talk about shepa romeo shepa romeo is an online resource to check publisher copyright and self archiving policies what is it it is an online resource to check publisher copyright and self archiving policies shepa romeo is a service run by shepa shepa is a company it is a service run by shepa company to show the copyright and open access self archiving policies of academic journals you can find the information about these things there Romeo in Sherpa Romeo is an acronym for rights metadata for open archiving try to understand Romeo is an acronym for rights metadata for open archiving this database of Sherpa Romeo used a color coding scheme to classify publishers according to their self archiving policies color coding scheme was used to classify publishers according to their self archiving policy okay this shows offers whether the journal allows preprint or post print archiving in their copyright transfer agreements because uh, author have to make an agreement with the publisher and this color coding scheme use the offers whether the journal allow preprint or post print archiving in their copyright transfer agreement shepa romeo currently holds the record for 22000 journals it might have changed by today understanding predatory journals it is very important for the researcher to realize which of the journals are predatory it is very difficult to identify the genuine journals and predatory journals however erickson has given an extensive list of the points which helps the researcher to understand the predatory journals according to erickson if the journal is not indexed by competent scientific database if the journal is not indexed by competent scientific database it is a predatory journal according to erickson if the journal website does not contain information about the editorial board then also it can be a predatory journal the journal website does not contain information about the editorial board the journal can be predatory if there are non academic advertisements on the web page see if there are non academic advertisement to the web page the journal can be predatory if the website of the journal does not contain information on the address and contact details of the editorial board then also it can be a predatory journal in some of the journals uh, the editorial board and the members of peer review are not mentioned clearly if this is the case then you got to believe that these are the kinds of predatory journals if the website of the journal does not contain information on the address and contact details of the editorial board then if the scientific work of the editor in chief the editorial board and the columnists cannot be credibly monitored then also you can consider that this is a predatory journal what is it if the scientific work of the editor in chief the editorial board and the columnist cannot be credibly monitored then there is a chance that this can be a predatory journal <clears throat> next is if there is no transparent description of the publishing process given by the journal or journal website then there is a chance that it can be a predatory journal so there should be the transparent description of the publishing process the next is if the journal claims an alternative that is fake remember if journal claims an alternative impact factor score impact factor score is considered very important in case of journals if the journal claims an alternative that is fake impact factor score then you be 100% sure that this is a predatory journal this is not a genuine journal and the last one that you have to keep in mind is if the scientific work of the editor in chief editor in chief of the journal if the scientific work of the editor in chief of the journal the editorial team members of the journal cannot be tracked in the scientific database if this information cannot be tracked in scientific da database then consider that this is a predatory journal and keep yourself away from these kinds of journals to be a good researcher let us talk about software tools to identify predatory journals in india there is a body called ugc and there is also a body called cpe 
it is center for publication ethics and it was established in savitri bai phule university pune savitri bai phule university pune is generally written as s p p u this center for publication ethics of savitri bai phule pune university pune keeps watch on journals without quality i mean it can it has a mandate to keep watch on journals without quality there is another body called ugc ugc is university grants commission it is a sovereign body that keeps watch on affairs related to higher education and research it keeps on publishing the list of quality journals from time to time it might have published some 3 4 5 lists by now to maintain high quality research standard among indian academia under its purview university grants commission has a quality mandate it has established ugc consortium for academic and research ethics that is written as ugc care to ensure this among other initiatives it has created and now maintains a ugc care reference list of quality journals called ugc care list for academic purposes it has created two groups list group 1 and list group 2 ugc care list group 1 include all indian journals mainly from social sciences humanities culture and indian knowledge systems languages and arts that meet the quality criteria UGC care list group 2 includes journals from across the disciplines listed with web of science that is social science citation index source publication arts and humanities citation index source publication science citation index expanded source publication and scopus that is scopus list now let's try to understand about journal finder or journal citation tools the first is j jane's journal author name estimator its full form is journal author name estimator it can be tracked at the website given here on the on the slide you can check it the next is elsevier journal finder you can just type in elsevier journal finder in google and you will get the web page wherein you are supposed to write some information and redirect it to the journal directly and then last one is springer journal suggester Springer Journal Suggester also suggests you the list of journals that you want to publish your papers in. Now let's try to understand meaning of certain terms which you may not have come across. Okay, first such term is corpus. What is corpus? Scopus is a bibliographic database containing abstracts and citations for academic journal articles. What is Scopus? Scopus is a bibliographic database containing abstracts and citations for academic journal articles. then what is citation index a citation index is a kind of bibliographic index an index of citations between publications what does it do it allows the user to easily establish which later document cite which earlier document citation index is a kind of bibliographic index an index of citations between publications what does it do it allows the user to easily establish establish which later document cite which earlier documents then there is something called impact factor that is written as if or there is all it is also written as journal impact factor that is jif the impact factor if or journal impact factor jif of an academic journal is a scientometric index calculated by clariweight that reflects the yearly mean number of citations of article published in last 2 years in a given journal as indexed by clariweight's web of science try to understand clariweight is the name of a company so the impact factor of an academic journal is a scientometric index calculated by clariweight clariweight is the name of a company that reflects the yearly mean number of citations of article published in the last 2 years in a given journal and it is as per the indexation by clariweight's web of science these were the some of the terms you needed to know that's all i had to tell you about open access publishing i hope you have understood certain concepts and if you have understood them and if you have liked this video please press the like button share this video with your friends and if you have not subscribed for the channel yet please do subscribe thank you very much for watching